What's going on guys? This is Enoch back with another set of free and open source Android applications. Open Note is an unpopular but very good note-taking application I think you must check out. The app is packed with features that make it a must-have and yet maintains a clean aesthetic. So for features, you get a simple notepad for quick ideas with a full markdown editor to format your notes like a pro and this feature is one that you are going to enjoy using. The text formatting features, especially when you switch to reading mode from the editing mode. You could see how professional your notes are displayed and for the first time I've seen a note application which automatically arranges your notes into sections or outlines and even has this dedicated outline icon, think of it like your table of contents. And at the top you can move your notes into categories, you get a search icon, you can switch between reading and editing modes, choose to make links clickable or not. And in the three dot menu, you get a lot more like creating a reminder on notes, exports notes as text files, markdown and also supports HTML files. Another awesome feature you will love is this print feature which lets you directly save your notes as PDF, which is totally awesome. Away from the notes part, you get folder categorization so everything stays organized. It supports OCR text recognition so you can take a photo of anything with text on it and the application extracts the text into the notepad which you can edit and then save. You can also save images, audio, documents as well, password protection is built in and it works completely offline. Easily one of the most underrated note-taking applications out there, you are definitely going to love using this note-taking application. Next on the list is called eInk Bro, and this is a lightweight browser which has a physical volume key navigation, high contrast icons, and a bold font button. Now, this one is made for anyone rocking an eInk device, you know, those devices with a paper like display that are great for reading, but can still be used on all Android devices. And so, if you will consider a simple browser that hardly hogs data, then check this out. Everything is optimized for smooth, minimalistic browsing. And it isn't just a dumbed down browser, you still get tab control, full screen browsing, advanced gesture controls and even extras like web search, saving entire pages as PDFs and opening links in other applications. And so if you've got an e-ink device, this is hands down the best browser experience you can get and if you do not have an e-ink device, you can still try this out for privacy focused browsing. Next up is called Tubular. And if you've ever used the good old new pipe, then you already know where this is going. Tubular is basically new pipe, but even better, you get all the privacy features of new pipe, no Google tracking, no YouTube API, just raw unrestricted access to YouTube. And not everyone liked it when YouTube took away the dislike button on videos. And if that is you, Tubular comes with built-in return YouTube dislike. That means you can have access to a dislike button on a video just like old times. And you can play videos in the background, you can watch videos in picture in picture, you can download videos or audio straight to your phone storage and the best part, it works without needing an account to use it. And so if you are serious about privacy when it comes to enjoying YouTube content and while enjoying extra premium features then give this application a try. Have you ever wished you could set a reminder that actually demands your attention, meet remind me. You see, most reminders just send you a notification that gets buried under hundreds of other alerts. Well, not this one. Remind me plays smart, so instead of just sending a ping, it actually pops up an overlay, a full screen alert that ensures you see your reminder when you need to. It's easy, it's effective, and it solves the problem of forgetting reminders in the simplest way possible. Seriously, activities in the background hardly gets launched and this is a common issue on Android. This app comes with a clever workaround using a quick overlay which really makes a huge difference. Still on the topic of privacy, we have this application called Disroot. And so if you do care about privacy as I mentioned, decentralization and open source tech, this application is one you shouldn't miss out on. Let's say you purchase a new phone and then you need access to some applications or services. You can install this application which will then connect you to open source applications and services from FDroid or their website. So for example, if you need an email application, you just tap on the email icon and then the app finds the best open source email application you should get. In my case, I have K9Mail installed already. So what the application does is it connects you to FDroid to install all corresponding applications for you to enjoy open source services on your smartphone. This route itself is a privacy driven platform so all its services are without tracking and are free to use. It connects you to the platform, 
offering services that don't require you to sell your private data to big tech companies. It is open, it is free, and it's made by the community for the community. You ever get a music link from a friend, tap on it, and boom, you are in the wrong app? Annoying, right? That is exactly why Redo Me exists. It's a simple but genius application that lets you open music links from different streaming services in your preferred application. Let's say your friend sends a Spotify link, but you are on YouTube Music or YouTube, no problem. Redo Me converts it for you like it's built into the system. And it works both ways. You can also share songs by converting them to someone else's platform. And it's not just a link opener. Redo Me lets you tweak your share sheets to change icon shapes, decide which applications to show up, adjust the grid size. It's all about customization. Material you in its full effect with light and dark themes. But here is the catch. By default, Redo Me doesn't open links right away. You will need to enable it manually in your phone settings by going to Set, Open by default, and selecting all the music platforms that aren't installed. Once that is done, you are good to go. It supports all major players, YouTube Music, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, SoundCloud. It even opens in YouTube and even other third-party clients. If it handles music links, chances are Redo Me has it covered. And so if you live in a world of mixed streaming platforms, this application is a must-have. Next up, I can tap on this little arrow here and bring up this hidden dock. And here I can access so many tools, I can control volume, Bluetooth, and even view my notifications from here. I can also access all installed applications from here, and there is more. The app is called Smart Dock, and you can bring it up anytime and on any screen you are on. Let's say I want to open another application, I wouldn't have to go back home and enter the app drawer. I can quickly bring up this dock and find that application. And in the Smart Dock application, you can choose what you want to appear on the dock, including recent applications and also customize the appearance. And it doesn't require root or any advanced permission to work, you just install it and set it up. Next is an application called Air, and this one is for those who want private secondary storage that feels like a native part of Android. It actually looks similar to the native Android Files application, it hooks directly into the system. Everything you move here will not show up in the phone's system file manager or even third-party file managers. You can create folders and documents and anything you want to keep private and keep everything completely hidden from other applications. It even integrates with Android's Files application, but if your device doesn't expose it, there is a shortcut. And if you've got an SD card, and make sure your private storage is actually private. If not, it just falls back into the internal storage seamlessly. This is perfect for anyone who wants an extra layer of privacy without dealing with complicated file managers. Open source applications are great with privacy, smooth user experience and more. And for the real open source enthusiasts, you should have this application installed. It is called Obtainium and the way this app works Instead of manually checking for updates on applications you installed from third-party sources, Obtainium tracks them for you. You just add the application's source link and it will notify you when an update is available. It works with GitHub, GitLab, FDroid and a lot more. Plus, you can enable background updates, categorize applications by source, and keep your third-party applications up to date without a headache. A really useful tool if you install applications from third-party sources. And then let's talk storage cleanup. WhatsApp is massive, over 3 billion users, and if you're one of them, you know how quickly it clutters up your storage. That is where WhatsApp Cleaner comes in. It's a simple, effective tool that cleans up those redundant media files, videos, images, voice notes, without digging through your storage manually. With a simple interface which shows you how much storage those WhatsApp files have taken. So you can just dig into each of them, select and delete them. And you can also sort them by date so you can hold on to the recent ones and delete the files that are way older. The good news is, all sent files on WhatsApp becomes duplicates of the original file, so you are not losing your files when you delete them. It's not affiliated with WhatsApp, but if you want to keep your phone from filling up with useless files, this app is a lifesaver. Consider subscribing to the channel if you love open source applications and you enjoyed this video and leave a comment let me know which of these applications you would love to try out. Also don't forget to leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.